Hello. Welcome to Productions MJC. My name is Mark. Today we're going to be discussing the phenomenon Flat Earth and revealing what the Flat Earth Society is all about. Society in air quotes because I'll explain that later. Now I began this investigation with uh, it was by accident, literally. Uh, injured and uh, convalescing. My feed kept saying, check out these Flat Earth videos. So I took a look. Condemnation without investigation is the epitome of ignorance. So I investigated. The Flat Earth Society was originally formed as the Universal Zetetics Society in 1884. After the Greek word zetio, to seek. So we're presented with these two models and we're told to, to seek out what's right. So what's this all about? Conspiracy, learning, truth, God, anti-God, control, you know, what? Th all of these subjects are touched on by a lot of people. So what are we talking about? We're talking about teaching the conspiracy. That's what the Flat Earth Society wants done. Teach the controversy. So the Flat Earth Society no longer is content to seek. They push to teach controversy. So who are these people? Well, you get different things, like I said, uh, Satan's globe, Earth, uh, God's flat Earth. You get various different angles on the whole thing. Why? The Flat Earth Society once taught the controversy. So what are we supposed to teach? Which version of flat Earth? Or is that the controversy? Well, the flat earth day and night cycle, you know, the sunrise, sunset on a flat earth. We're supposed to teach what? This is one version where the sun's rays shine in, in that sort of a way. This is another version, and I'll animate it. This is another version of how the, see how the sun passes over uh, and the moon there. Here's another version. And see how the moon and sun move along there. This is this is another way that it's done. Here's another version where the sun, delimiter between the day and night is straight. It's not curved like the others. None of them work with time zones though, except this. But I'm supposed to teach that. I'm supposed to teach that the sun's rays behave in that way? That's controversy in itself. Now, here's, an, and here's another version of Flat Earth. But let me point out the obvious mistakes with this one. I, I've done some other videos where I point out how other things are disproportional and don't work. Australia, good proportions. The United States looks a little weird. But the red line points to the equator. Or, well, and for, some have argued that the black line there is actually the equator. But there's two problems with this map. That would put 100% of South America below the equator. That would put the equator at Yemen, uh, the equator running through China, and the equator running through Cuba. So, like, the flat Earth model... This is a direct quote from a Guardian newspaper article. There is no unified, a.k.a. working, flat earth model from Daniel Shenton, president of the Flat Earth Society. He fully admits uh, it's the earth's flat, but we don't know how to represent it, and nobody's been able to. 
So the, these are other illustrations talking about uh, the foundation for evolution. This is a lie, stuff like this. This is more along the religious things. And don't get me wrong. I do believe in God. I do believe uh, in the the Bible, the the way that things are said in there. I don't take it 100% literally. I do get the the analogies, the symbolism, the parables. I don't take every word flat out literally. And so when it asks, do you see why they are lying? No, no, I don't. So the Flat Earth Society, Flat Earth Society, who and what are the members? Well, who's simple? Three groups, basically. There's the direct members of the actual Flat Earth Society in London. There are the pro Flat Earth video makers. And there's just all the Flat Earth believers out there. What is the question? Well, the Flat Earth Society, this is their symbol, and they and their that's cute little picture, but it's not real. It doesn't work. So m direct members of the Flat Earth Society, the leader admits a working model of the Flat Earth system does not exist. The Flat Earth Society, the uh, direct members, no longer do seek knowledge, but seek to teach controversy. That's their direct, quote, their mission, their whatever. And they seek to bring attention to themselves through teaching controversy. Well, again, I showed you how this doesn't work at all. So is that the controversy we're teaching? The fact that if you take a good look at this, now some people with OCD or, or other, they, they can pick out this doesn't work, this doesn't fly. It doesn't even fly on paper, as the saying goes. Well, the film and video makers of the Flat Earth Society claim a working model of Flat Earth system exists, but they can't show you one. They seek to teach controversy and claim uh, scientific proof exists that the Earth is flat, but they use magic tricks, camera angles, lighting tricks to misinform the public, while at the same time claiming it's the other side that's actually doing this with uh, CGI and other stuff. And again, they seek to bring attention to themselves through teaching flat earth controversy. One of the video makers, uh, I think this is Pea Brains, there's Jaronism, there, there's a bunch of them. They claim that that blue triangle is water and the water rises up to the level of your eyesight and blocks the buildings beyond it. I kid you not. And then at the same time, a, f a few seconds later, he said, water is always flat. So in the flat earth fantasy world, water rises up and stays flat to block. You know, it's, it's flat when you look at it. It's, it always seeks a level, but it raises up to block your view of the buildings beyond where it's ri risen up to, depending on how far you're looking out. Uh, it's, it's just nutty. Now see, they would say that the water, and, and they talk about air density and convergence and blah blah, but when you look at this, the energy panther, the golden energy is 6.5 nautical miles, the Yellowstone is 7.7 .7 nautical miles, starting to go over the curve, and uh, the spirit is out there 9.9, .9, almost 10 nautical miles, and the whole hull is gone. All you can see is the control tower, the uh, conning tower. So, but they say that the water is rising up to block our view. Well, there's three different objects at three different distances. So the water is raising up at different heights or, you know, it, it just doesn't work. And this view from Alcott, New York to Toronto. Wow, that water has risen up 603 feet to block that much of the CN Tower. Uh, and yet it's perfectly flat. Remember that. Water is always flat. It always seeks a level, but it raises up to block your view of the building on the other side. Okay, the believers in the Flat Earth Society 
admit there's no working model of a flat Earth system, and they, they don't care. They don't care if there is or isn't one. The Earth's flat. They have no desire to seek knowledge, trust in others' information, accept blindly and refuse to even do simple experiments. And again, they seek to bring attention to themselves through teaching the controversy of Flat Earth. In one of the videos that the filmmakers do, I, I, I can't remember who did this, uh, but he slides that coin along the top. And a lot of people pick out, this is a magic trick, because the camera is below sea level. If the top of that table is sea level, that yellow line represents the center of vision of the camera. So it's, it's a trick as he slides that back and the coin disappears. It's simple sleight of hand and illusion. It's magician's tricks to convince you that the earth is flat. Now the believers, to continue, they believe geometry is a trick, an illusion, and are fooled by simple camera angle tricks like the one I just showed you. They repeat buzzwords and talking points like perspective, convergence, density, and I'll show you another one here, they, with no idea what they're even talking about, or even if those words apply. Perspective is a drawing term. It doesn't, it's not real life. And again, they seek to bring attention to themselves through teaching controversy. Keep this in mind. See what this flat earther is holding up. Earth, not a globe. Okay, when I talked about talking points, in a rebuttal, th this, is a, this is a tit for tat on a couple of my videos, and this one person always, uh, see, the earth is not a globe. No research from the nutcase community ever. There is no research from the flat earthers. They just say earth's not a globe. That's their answer to everything, earth's not a globe. Some of them even say time zones are fake. Well, time zones, I guess, were made by man, like my 16-year-old pointed out. But I know when it's midnight in London, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon where I live, and the sun is still out, but for Londoners, the sun is not out. So it, it just doesn't make sense how they think. Now look at this one. Same person, and look, you forgot Earth not a globe. Remember what that person was hanging up? It's a buzzword. It's a talking point. It, it's just, they just blurt this stuff out without even thinking it through. Uh, this, the other gentleman, he loved my video and he's like, man, that was, uh, it's called flat earth trolls. I, I recommend you look at my whole playlist. Now the flat earth belief equals mental illness. That's the big reveal. And what's the common ground between all of these groups of flat earthers? They seek to bring attention to themselves. Well, what does that mean? It's called Munchausen syndrome. They crave attention and they bring attention to themselves through various means. It's a serious thing. I, I'm not belittling it. I'm not trying to downplay it. It's desperately serious. Munchausen is a serious mental illness that if goes unchecked can cause a lot of problems. And the believers, they have it. What are the symptoms? Well, when someone fakes an illness, or in this case fakes a flat earth, uh, they attract attention, sympathy, they you know, it, it's all a conspiracy. We're, we need to band together. To, you know, it's just all nutty stuff. Because, see, in the in the heliocentric, it's it's not about you. In the geocentric, everything is about you. All the attention is drawn to you. You are the center of everything. You are it. So that's why the, that's why they like it. It's it's a form of Munchausen's. Uh, and what could be worse than Munchausen? I mean, think about it. Well, for the direct members of the Flat Earth Society and the video and filmmakers, they seek to bring attention to themselves too. But how do they do it? 
It's called Munchausen by proxy, where they, they feign or create an illness or situation in somebody else to get attention to themselves. And it's abuse. Uh, when it's done uh, in the medical community, when a child is harmed so that the parent usually can get attention from the medical staff and everything, that's how it happens. But this is a perfect example. It's not denial. It's just very selective about the reality they accept. And the victims of Munchausen, the believers... The, the victims of this Munchausen by proxy, they have to go through unnecessary stuff. Uh, could be painful, emotionally painful, uh, you know, intellectually and everything else. And because the caregiver, these video makers and the Flat Earth Society, they seem to be generally concerned, but they're, they're not. They literally are not concerned at all. So they present this controversy, and they get these poor suckers to go out there and, and teach it. Remember the most important thing ever said by the president of the Flat Earth Society. There is no unified Flat Earth model. He's just looking you right in the eye and saying, it doesn't work, but that doesn't matter. Flat Earth is a racketeering shakedown. Do you know what the definition of racketeering is? It's creating a problem and then creating the solution for that problem. Usually for profit, well, they profit in the attention they're getting. It's a combination of Munchausen's and, and racketeering, and it's disgusting. But that's what's going on. Condemnation without investigation is the epitome of ignorance. Remember, we that's what we started out with. It is hard to get a person that believes in flat earth to investigate anything. All they repeat is earth, not a globe. You forgot earth, not a globe, earth, not a globe. It's like they're a robot. They're, they're non-thinking. And yet they, that's what they accuse you of being if you believe in a globe. But the sad thing is, is it's actually them that's not thinking. Well, thanks for watching. You know, the big reveal... The whole flat earth thing is just Munchausen, either direct or by proxy. It's a mental illness. It, it honestly is. It needs treated. It is treatable. They can be helped. But it's up to us to try to get them that help. So don't be fooled by the slick presentation of the Flat Earth Society or especially these video makers, uh, Jaronism, P-Brain, and the others. Some of them don't even believe in what they're doing. They just make a video to get views and get paid for it or get attention that's the mo most important main thing and they don't care if it hurts people so please like subscribe favorite go and see my playlist i've got other videos that explain in more detail experiments you can do in your backyard with your kids and you can find the answer out for yourself that earth is a globe spread the word keep the truth flowing because a lot of people talk about the truth and their truth is earth not a globe i mean there's no no thought to anything whatsoever keep keep the good work going thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it this has been mark with productions mjc